<clears throat> okay, we're going to look at uh, how to find the contents of files and to see what's in it. And we'll look at a couple of commands for doing that. The, um, so, for instance, here's this lab trek directory, uh, file in my directory. If I just want to throw the whole thing on the screen, that's called cat. Uh, cat is short for concatenate, which means to splop two strings together, which doesn't, I guess, make a lot of sense in this case. But it means, in our case, throw it to the screen. So if I cat lab trek, it threw the whole thing on the screen. Um, <clears throat> now, sometimes we want to kind of peruse through it. So there's another file, uh, pro I'm sorry, a program called more. Uh, well, let me do a directory listing, okay? Program called more. So if I do more lab trek, it puts a little bit on the screen, and you can see down here at the bottom it says more, 3%, and it shows me some of it, and I can hit kind of space bar, so I'm hitting the space bar to go down, um, and I hit the B key to move back up, so space bar moves down, the B key moves back up. Uh, if I hit the Q key in the middle, it'll quit. So those those are... That's the more command. Now, there's a lot of silly name changes or silly names and things. Uh, the newer version of more is called less, right? Less is more, I know. Um, so if I type less lab trek, it also brings me up an editor. And now I can hit the down arrow. I'm hitting the down arrow to go down and the up arrow to go up. And I can hit the left and right arrows, although they don't help with this file. Uh, and, and actually, as it turns out, you can do a lot more with less. Oh, I can't believe I said that. Anyway, so, so the less program has, has extra features over the more program. So you may want to put the effort into figuring out how to use less. I hit Q, by the way, to get out of less. Um, a couple other times, sometimes you want to see what's at the end of a file or what's at the beginning of a file. So like, for instance, um, there's uh, web uh, browsers have like, um, the error files or things like that. So um, there are two commands. One utility is called head, which shows you the top of a file, and tail, which shows you the end of a file. So if I do head lab track, it just shows me the first 10 lines or so. I can change that by doing putting a command line option. I can do head minus, I don't know, 30, and uh, it showed 30 lines if I scroll back up here. Uh, where do we start? Over here. So that, that's 30 lines. Uh, or you can do a head minus 1 to show you the first line. Or head minus 2 to show you the first two lines. Uh, the opposite of head is tail, which just shows you stuff at the end. Tail minus 3. Tail minus 4 shows you the last four lines. And tail by itself will show you the last 10 lines. So that's head and tail along with more, less, and cat for seeing what's inside files.